I'm Maggie Lukowski from Maggie Moon Tarot, and here are the vibes for the week. The sun is entering Taurus this weekend, so happy birthday to, for all those born under this sign. For they are the builders, the teachers, the practical ones. They have artistic flair, and they cherish friendships. They love to be surrounded by beauty. They are one of the fixed signs in the zodiac, and their element is Earth. And it's not surprising that we celebrate Earth Day on April 22nd. And Taurus planet is Venus, and their ruling house is the second house. And that's all about how we identify with ourselves, our environment, our self-esteem, possessions, and attachments. Taurus vibes are one of steadiness, security, they're practical, very sensual, they enjoy pleasures. Um, sometimes they're viewed as a bit stubborn, but they just want to get things done. And in the book, Angel Astrology, and it's co-authored by Yasmin Bolin and Doreen Virtue. And Yasmin's an astrologer and angel therapist. Um, they associate Archangel Shamuel with Taurus. Shamuel can help us find, our, um, find love, soulmates, uh, friendship, lost items in um, careers that really speak to our heart. And then Shemuel also helps us with vulnerability issues when we're stuck, um, helps us let go and release what no longer serves us. And when Venus and Shemuel team up, pleasure, beauty, and love quickly follows. And we're going to be celebrating Earth Day this Tuesday, April 22nd. And it's just not for the day. It's developing a practice uh, for every day. And one of my favorite books is from Dr. Seuss. It's called the Lorax, and its message is about how things have gotten out of hand and are part of it in the environment, but it ends with a message of hope and the word unless. So I'd like to read you my favorite part. I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees, for the trees have no tongues. But now, said the Onesler, now that you're here, the word of the Lorax seems perfectly clear. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. So Ketch calls the onceler. He lets something fall. It's a truffle of seed. It's the last one of all. You're in charge of the last of the truffle of seeds. And the truffle of trees are what everyone needs. Plant a new truffle. Treat it with care. Give it clean water and feed it fresh air. Grow a forest, protect it from axes that hack, then the Lorax and all of his friends may come back. And there's a very special uh, global meditation um, for uh, our planet on Earth Day, and it's, um, it starts April 22nd, and um, it's narrated by Julian Lennon. He's a singer-songwriter, he's a photographer and philanthropist. And um, you can go to the website to find out what time in your area the meditation is starting. And it can be found at www.themastershift.com forward slash meditations. And after this Libra full moon and the total lunar eclipse that we had um, <clears throat> last week and then Easter coming, uh, the Grand Cardinal Cross coming this week, and Earth Day, you know, it's a time for transformation, pushing through our fears with love and stepping into our own truth and light. So for this week's energy, I chose a card from the Guy in Tarot um, by Joanna Powell Colbert, and it's the Awakening card, card 20. And in this card, you can see Quan Yin. Um, she's a goddess of compassion and mercy, and she's looking down at New Grange, where there's um, a community standing, holding hands um, in sacred space. And it's a global shift going on. It's an awakening. And the man in the middle here, um, in the middle of the circle with outstretched arms, I think he stands for each one of us. And he represents um, opening to spirit, a rebirth, and um, kind of coming into alignment with our true path, power, and joining with others. And then while the cranes of peace um, fly overhead. And then the candles represent each one of us, our prayers, um, our wishes, and they help light the way. And the lotus signifies rebirth. 
and we're becoming more conscious and of how we affect the world through our choices and we're deciding how we can serve and um, we're looking at recognizing our own unique gifts and how we're using them. So uh, the simple feng shui tip that I picked for this week is um, the rose quartz. Um, placing one in your bedroom and I have this one that I um, will use and I'll find a mate for it this weekend and um, it can bring rose quartz brings love uh, it uh, brings friendship into our lives new loves um, and it helps re uh, current relationships healed old wounds and also um, we can wear it as jewelry or keep it in our pocket and it really opens up our hearts for um, giving and receiving love so for today and every day Believe in miracles, laugh often, love much, create your own happiness, be kind, support each other. And if you like my videos, I invite you to click on the subscribe and like button and share with your friends. Wishing you a lovely weekend. Namaste.